Hey, what's up everyone? Today we're going to talk about the Power World servers because if you did not know, the servers are currently messed up. So why is this? Well, the developers did let us know that the servers are broken and they do believe this is due to cheating. Now with that information to the side, we're going to take a look at some new game breaking bugs that again just popped up as of late and possibly you may have been experiencing this as well. We are also gonna be talking about some other things in today's video, so with that being said, now that you know what to expect out of this video, let's go ahead and dive right into this. Alrighty, let's begin by talking about the recent server issues. Now, it's no surprise as of late that the game has been quite buggy with certain issues, you know, constant crashing or infinite loading screens or perhaps you're falling through the map or whatever the case may be, right? There's several things going on. Yet the most annoying one as of late has got to be the servers crashing because currently no one can connect to a server. Now, although this is the case, the developers did confirm that this is an issue, that the servers essentially are broken and on top of that they're also trying to make sure that this is not due to cheating and as of right now we really do not know much except for what they did send out over there on the official power world discord what you can see right here down below is a discord moderator over at the official power world discord and this is what this user had to say currently we have confirmed an issue causing the loading screens to continue indefinitely on the official servers making it impossible to play as of now, there have been no reports other than on the official server. So we are investigating the issue while also considering the possibility that it may be due to cheating. Therefore, it may take some time to resolve the issue. We apologize for the inconvenience and thank you for your patience until the issue is resolved. Now, this right here does suck for a few reasons. One, the developers really have to work hard to figure out the issue because it is due to cheating, or at least that's what they're assuming. Second off, when it comes down to new content, there is a possibility that this could be delayed just by a little bit until they're able to resolve the rest of these issues. And third, if you did not know, there's actually a cheating program out there that allows you to ban pretty much any player online. All you need is their Steam ID, which is what the cheat tool actually provides. Now I do want to say one thing before we do get into this is that I have shown this in the past, but for video purposes, I am going to bring it up once more so that you know what's going on. And I do believe this tool right here is what's causing the issues. What you can tell right here on the screen is a cheating tool at the top left corner. This footage is not mine, but thank you to the person that sent this to me over on the Discord who would like to remain anonymous. Anyways, what you can tell right here is that this tool provides you with Steam IDs, their Steam ID number, so this way you can enter it in and spoof yourself. This way you will remain undetected, and with this tool you can actually use someone else's Steam ID to ban them from a server permanently. What's worse is that you can actually use this tool to enter inside bases, collect their material without their permission, you can steal their pals without their permission, you can do pretty much any type of malicious activity that you can think of when it comes down to this game and honestly I think the developers are heading in the right direction as of right now because this tool right here could be the main source for all the issues online as of right now with that being said if you have experienced some similar issues online where a player you know possibly hacked inside of your base or stole some of your pals or better yet maybe this hacker had actually banned you from a server let me know down below in the comments we are now going to move along and talk about some of these new bugs that have just popped up in the latest patch specifically for xbox's patch which would be 0.1.5.2 what you can see right here is a reddit post by a user named spider guy prime this is what this reddit user had to say anyone else have trouble warp into deep sand dunes i'm playing on xbox whenever i try to warp to deep sand dunes it just sends me back to my base when I get there on foot, the ground hasn't properly rendered, so I assume that is why it's an issue. The glitches area is right next to the fast travel point. Just wondered if I was the only one. Thanks. And of course, this player right here is not the only one that is experiencing this. I have read some of your guys' comments in the previous video, and yeah, it's definitely a huge problem. Even somebody actually replied back in this Reddit post, saying this right here. I thought it was me. I built a pal box where the coal spot is kind of deep and whenever I tried to teleport anywhere past that, it just takes me there. 
So it's not just you, Xbox here as well. If you have been experiencing this bug right here, then yeah, you're definitely not the only one as well. And I am interested in whether or not you have experienced this on Steam. If you're currently on Steam, let me know down below because I'm trying to figure out whether or not this is an Xbox Series S or X issue specifically or if it's for both. Anyways, let me know down below in the comments. The second newest bug that just popped up and has been reported is a dungeon chest. Yes, so currently there are some issues right now when it comes down to exploring dungeons and then you get that final chest at the end. Well, some of you are not able to grab anything. Nada. Not a single thing. What you can see right here is a user by the name of Dan and this is what this person had to say in this post. Dungeon chests are all empty. Since the last update, I'm experiencing a glitch where none of the dungeon chests give me any items. The chests are there in the dungeons and I can't open them, but I don't get anything from them. Dungeons also crash my game. It usually crashed two or three times before I explore the whole thing. I think that was already glitched people were experiencing, but it's new for me since the last update. I'm playing over the cloud on Game Pass, by the way. So yeah, that was a bit hard to read just because of the way this person wrote it. Regardless, this is what's going on as of right now when you do enter inside dungeons. For whatever reason, when you open up those chests, it does not give you any rewards back. You're pretty much left empty handed. This is also a common issue amongst those on Xbox. There was some fella down below in this post that also agreed to it by saying, I am also experiencing the same. Yeah, so it's just a huge problem going on amongst the other issues in the past. Like I've talked about the crashing, I've talked about the dungeon crashing, which this person right here also mentions it. There are some other issues I just, I cannot remember at the current moment. I'm sure some of you can actually let me know down below. Yet I digress. What I am trying to say here is that with this newest patch for Xbox, it has completely jacked up the game for a majority of players. Because personally, I have not seen a single person comment on the channel or on the Discord talking about any of the issues that the Xbox players here are experiencing. So I definitely believe there are some major Major problems with the latest patch. And speaking of that patch, some of you might be confused as to what's going on because you might be thinking, did that patch really do anything for the game? It did, but it also did not resolve some of those other issues like saving, which is a big one. But they did mention here on the patch notes right underneath 0.1.5.2, it says fixed an issue where save data larger than 16 megabytes would not save correctly. Fixed a multiplayer related bug which caused the game to crash. Well, you would think or imagine that this right here would resolve both of those major issues and it did not. It absolutely did not. Instead, it actually made things worse because none of those things really resolved any of those major issues. Sure, it did say something about crashing and saving, so perhaps maybe that was towards something else. I honestly don't think it was, but who knows, it maybe could have been for the saving issues, it just maybe wasn't coded right or something. I'm no developer, I couldn't tell you this stuff. But there is some major problems going on when it comes down to this latest patch, and as you can tell, those issues are not resolved just yet. Now, there does appear to be more issues with cheaters and hackers though. This might be the reason as to why some of you do not have your saves anymore. What you're going to see right here is a Reddit user named board senseless 34 and this is what the reddit user had to say anybody else experiencing quote connection to the host has been lost end quote error hey there was wondering if anybody else has been having issues connecting to servers after the recent patches about a week or two ago we had the most recent power world patch and while i could connect a day or two after afterward to the dedicated server that the discord i'm on runs i've been unable to connect since then getting the message your connection to the host has been lost every single time i know that there has been chatter on here regarding hackers taking over servers destroying bases, wiping out various sundries. So was wondering if this was related or if there was possibly another issue going on here, along with a workable solution. I've been in contact briefly with the guy running the server and supposedly he restarted it, 
but I'm still getting this error. And it does appear that hackers and cheaters are really taking over the servers and some of you have lost your saves due to this. I think it's quite obvious to see that this right here is due to the hackers and cheaters and I'm interested in what Power World is going to do to stop this or limit this type of situation from happening again. Which by the way, I have a great question for those on Steam and on Xbox Game Pass for PC specifically. Would you prefer a anti-cheat on Power World or are things okay as they are? Sure, that kind of sounds like a rhetorical question because it kind of seems like it there is an issue right i mean i mean if you look at all the things that are going on right now it does seem like a huge problem not having an anti-cheat but regardless i would like to know what you all think down below anyways all i want to say is thank you guys for sticking through this whole entire video if you have reached the ending here my voice is still kind of raspy my nose is not as plugged as it was uh so i'm slowly getting over being sick and i kind of sound odd when i'm talking i had to re-record re this multiple multiple times so if you did watch the whole video thank you so much from the bottom of my heart and i hope you all have a solid day out there join the discord follow me on twitter if you have any questions comment down below if you have not subscribed or turn on the notifications do both with all that being said thank you guys again and i'll see you all in the next one